The superficial mycosis includes Pityriasis versicola or Tinea versicola, which is quite common, especially in hot and humid climate. Then Tinea nigra, black pedra, and white pedra. The other cutaneous superficial infections produced by dermatophytes, we call them as dermatophytosis, mainly caused by three genera that is, Epidermophyton, Trichophyton, and Microsporum. There are various species in these genera. It is common in hot and humid climate and common in individuals who sweat excessively, especially in manual labors or those who work in hot and humid climate, those who have got oily skin. And if you consider the age, it is basically the late teens and young adults who are usually active, they are being affected. Frequent species is uh, Melesthesia globosa and Melesthesia restricta worldwide. But in India, what we have seen is it is Melesthesia furfa. That is the most prevalent species, followed by Melesthesia globosa, then Melesthesia restricta and Melesthesia sympodialis. These findings are from Indian study, whereas the studies from other parts of the world have shown that it is Melesthesia globosa, which is the commonest species, and it occurs in frequencies of nearly 50 to 60 percent in various studies. As I have already told, it is common in young individuals, that is, age group of 21 to 30 years is the most commonly affected in many of these studies. There are many species, mainly from three genera Microsporum. Trichophyton and Epidermophyton. We have anthropophilic species depending upon the ecology, zoophilic species, the one which survive on the animals and then geophilic species, the one which are surviving on the soil. Here you can see the Microsporum adoni with large unevenly septate and may have a wasted appearance. The epidermophyton flocosum, the clavate microconidia are characteristic and microconidia are There is inoculation of the host skin, incubation, the enlargement of the fungi, involution and then the multiplications leading to refractory stage.